other thing that I do that's somewhat unique is an unfolding case study. I like to try to um, bring people's thoughts in a way that um, moves them through the whole course. So in the beginning, I present a case study and we are talking about lead poisoning. And we talk about prenatal drug exposure and the implications for those things for children that have experienced them. And they have a discussion forum that's a relatively straightforward, what would you anticipate? Here's a child who has this lead level who was exposed prenatally to drugs and where, where, what things should we be looking for? What kind of health concerns do we need to watch for? What should we be doing for screening? And it's, a, it's a relatively straightforward. And then we move on through the course and we tackle some more of the challenging issues of um, wealth distribution, resource distribution and, uh, on a global level and what it means to um, have diarrhea in this country versus what it means to have diarrhea in sub-Saharan Africa and how that can be a, a death sentence in some places. And so we talk about that and we talk about how your socioeconomic background in, in, uh, has a huge crossover everywhere because it implies how much access you have to resources, how many things you have that can protect you should there be an issue. Um, and so it carries over to all areas of risk. And so then we unfold a little further. So this child has now grown up and is in the teen years and is now looking at dropping out of high school and what is going to happen at that and what are the ramifications and what could we be doing at this point to change the trajectory. And then we get into week five and we're talking about chronic disease. And so in week five, They've had a lot of diabetes, they've had a lot of heart disease, those things are covered in other classes. So one of the things we really focus on is healthcare disparities. And so we start talking about things from a public health perspective, including things like police violence, including things like racism, including things like not having access to education that's equivalent to uh, other people's education for sure. And so at that point, we now look at the same child that we've been following through the semester. And it's only at that point that we realize the case study, and I reveal to them the case study is actually Freddie Gray, who died in police custody. And so now we look at, from a public health perspective, what violence means. We look at what it means to be in a group that is frequently um, mistreated. We look at what it means to walk out your door and not know if you're safe, and how we can go all the way back and say, we know what it meant for prenatal drug exposure. We know what it meant to have a parent who was mentally ill and, and continuous exposures to violence over time. We know what it meant to have this high lead level. We know what it means when you leave school. And as you go through all of this, to see the final results and then to say, you know, was this just an accident or was this a predictable outcome? And so by the point that we get to with that, they reach, they think about the issue in a way they couldn't if we started the course and said, what do you think about the fact that Freddie Gray died in police custody and, and, and we, they're, they're not going to be able to think through that whole process the same way. And so they can access it and talk about a very difficult issue in a public health realm um, by handling it the way we did. And they, they uh, respond very well to that and have some real insights at that point in time. Mm -hmm.